Hello and welcome to a video where I will be showing you how to digitize your CDs. So to move any music or you have from a CD onto your phone, computer, um, basically any a digital music platform. So to uh, we have two main steps that we're going to follow. Number one is to rip the CD, and that means we're going to take the CD and we're gonna take all the songs and put them on the computer, save them to the computer. And then step two would be to upload those songs to a music streaming platform. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to rip the CD and then how to upload it to three music uh, services. Those three music services would be Groove Music, iTunes, and YouTube Music. Uh, Groove Music is Microsoft's music platform, iTunes is Apple's, and YouTube Music is Google's. So let's start by doing the first step and ripping the CDs. So the first thing you want to do to burn your CDs is to get a computer that has a disk drive or get like a disk drive that can be plugged into a computer via like a USB port. Um, so I have this old computer, which does have a disk drive, um, but I w wasn't sure if it was reliable enough to record quality, like, screen videos, uh, videos of the screen, so that's why I'm just recording it with a separate screen. So the quality won't be that good for, at the moment, but, um, it won't, we won't be here that long. So, pretty, uh, easy to burn your CDs. What you're gonna want to do is put the CD into the disk drive, and once it's all loaded and set up, you're going to want to open up the Windows Media Player. And it'll look something like this. It'll list probably all the songs that you have from all the different albums that you have, any CDs you've already um, uploaded. But we're going to want to scroll down on the right here to the CD, and right now we have the Disney Classic CD put in there. Um, and up here at the top, we will press RIP CD. And what that's going to do is start downloading all of the songs from the disc onto the um, computer. And they will all get put into a certain uh, fo folder file of all your music. And everything that you, all the CDs that you rip will go into this single music folder. Uh, so once that gets loaded, I will, we will move to the second step. So now that we have our music downloaded, the place we're going to find it is if we go here to music, and you'll find all of your uh, artist names. We open up a certain artist. We have all of the albums by that artist. And opening up that album will uh, show all of these songs and we can go in here and play these. Now, what we're gonna wanna do is upload it to a certain uh, streaming service. So we're gonna start with uh, YouTube Music, my personal favorite. And if we go here to library, and then click on albums up here. This is where all the albums that we upload will appear. To make an album appear here, click on your name, go to upload music, and go back to that um, the album that you just uploaded. You can click on the album, select all, open, and uh, if this is your first time doing it, make sure you accept the like agreement not to start sharing these songs all over the place. Uh, we'll just wait for that to load and then we'll see what happens. Now once you have the everything's loaded and uploaded, all you're gonna want to do is refresh the page and if we scroll down and you'll notice that there's a YouTube music section and an upload section. Make sure you go to the upload section and right here will be your album that you just uploaded. 
you can access that, have all no ads with it, uh, and all of the things like that. So it's yours that you own. So our other option for where we want to upload the music, um, so if we don't want to upload it for YouTube Music for some reason, uh, your other option is Groove Music. Uh, Groove Music is a Microsoft-owned music, uh, so you'll only be able to access it on things like any Microsoft tablets you have, Microsoft computers, your Xbox, um, Microsoft-owned things. They don't have a uh, Android or iOS app, so you won't be able to access it on your phone, which is why I wouldn't suggest um, getting it. However, it is super easy to use because every song that you upload is automatically added. So I had to do nothing to get my Disney Classics uh, music saved to the uh, Groove Music. So if you're just hoping for ease, then you can open up Groove Music and have access to all your music. Sign into the same account on any de uh, other device that is supported by Groove Music and have access to all of the same uh, songs that you've uploaded. And then for our final uh, place to upload your music is iTunes. And of course, this is only available on Apple devices, so your Macs, uh, and your iPhones, iPad, maybe an Apple TV if you have that. Um, and again, there it's very simple. Here you go, File, Add File to Library, uh, find whatever song or album you're hoping to add, select all, uh, and open. And it'll take a second and it'll load all of those in there. Um, just from the looks of it, it seems to separate the music into much more distinct uh, uh, sections in case, like, the artist is different. But um, if that shouldn't be a problem, yeah, I guess you can just go to artists or albums, um, depending on what you're looking for. So yeah, that'll be the third and final place to upload your uh, music. And so, as I wrap the video up, I want to thank everybody for watching. I hope you were able to digitize your CD collection. It's a super simple process, and that makes digitizing a large collection of CDs very simple. Um, but if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, go ahead and leave those in the comments. Uh, thanks to everybody for watching, and I'll see you later. Adios!